hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in PHP how to search records of the selected date with jQuery date picker now I'm selecting the date so February 7 2019 submit and here we got a message no records found the reason we don't have any record on the selected date which we have chosen let's select let's search the bend record the date is 2018-0204 copy that one and paste here submit see here we got a bend record let's check the another record this time we'll Kevin record the join date is 2019 February 1st so February 1st 2009 and here we got the Kevin record if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I'm using notepad plus plus notice in this notepad plus plus just for the time saving I have created a HTML code with some has with some headed access one heads to and a horizontal line and after the horizontal line I have a table inside this table I have a text box control and one button control now before adding the jQuery date picker to search records of the selected date from database let's check the basic output how it looks the designing part on the browser and this is the output of that code which contains right now the header X, the text box control and one button control now my first task is I will link the jQuery date picker to this text box control so when we are implementing jQuery the first thing we require the latest jQuery CDN links so search for jQuery latest CDN Google and from the search results I'm selecting the hosted libraries in Google hosted libraries notice at the corner there is a contents panel which contains a jQuery and jQuery UI I require these both CDN links first I'm selecting the jQuery in jQuery we find different versions of CDN links. I'm selecting the version 3.3.1. Just copy this one and paste in the header section. After that, again switch back to the hosted libraries. Now, this time I'm selecting the jQuery UI. In jQuery UI, notice we have two links one for the CSS and the second one for jQuery UI.min.js. I require both links just copy this one and paste here after that I'm adding the script tag and closing the script tag inside the script I want to bind the date picker which is a calendar to this text box control dollar function dollar between double quotes I'm adding the text box ID which is text from hash text from dot date picker let's add the format also date format between single quotes year month and date that's it let's save this file let's check the output when I click the text box control I'm getting the jQuery date picker or not I'm reloading the browser let's check the jQuery date picker is added or not see here we got the jQuery calendar now my second task is when a user select a particular date I want to get records from my SQL PHP my admin database now before writing the coding part in PHP first let's check in my SQL PHP my admin database 
the table I'm using employee details which contains three columns employee ID employee name and join date now and I select any particular date I want to get that employee details on the browser so let's write the coding part come to the bottom first thing in the form tab I'm adding the method is equals to post autocomplete I'm adding off after that in the form tag of the table I'm adding PHP code PHP in this PHP code I'm declaring my connection variables the first one is a host name is equals to localhost dollar db name a database name is sample db dollar username username is root dollar password notice in the password I left blank because I don't have any password to log into my PHP MySQL database if you have any password please enter that one after that I'm adding connection variable MySQL underscore connect method and this connect method takes four parameters the first one is a string host name so dollar host name dollar host name comma the second parameter is a username which is root dollar username the third one is a password the password is empty so I'm not entering anything and the last one is a DB name which is a database name dollar DB name copy this one and paste here so the new one if is set dollar underscore post between square brackets I'm adding and the name of the button control which is search we need to add another bracket now in this if condition we're selecting the date from text box control so I'm declaring a variable dollar select text is equals to dollar underscore post I'm adding that text box name which is from date dollar query is equals to my SQL underscore query method this query method takes two parameters the first one is a link which is a connection variable dollar con comma and the second one is a query the select statement the string I'm adding the statement select start from the table name is employee details where we're filtering the records from the date so I'm adding the join date is equals to between single quotes I'm adding the variable and this variable we are getting the date semicolon once the query is executed if the records are found let's count the records count is equals to my SQLI underscore num underscore rows I'm adding dollar query math query variable if the records are not found of the selected date if dollar count double equals to zero echo 
h2 h2 no records found the else in the else part i want to display the records for that i'm using table let's close this php code here table border is equals to one let's close this table also tr closing this tr th i'm closing this th the table adder is the employee name the second column is a join date these both columns i want to display on the table join date after that let's add the php code and this php code i'm closing here let's copy this table i'm adding after this php code ending i'm using while loop to fetch the records while dollar row is equals to my sql underscore fetch underscore array small a now in this array method i'm adding this query variable the founded records echo tr i'm closing this tr td i'm closing the td I'm adding the expression in this curly braces dollar row between double quotes. I'm adding the column name. The first column name is the employee name, EMP name. So instead of writing again, I'm just copying this part, pasting here. The second column name is a join date joined at this one semicolon let's add the backward slash and which creates a new line that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file we'll check the output on the browser i'm reloading the browser Oops, we got an error at 44 line number. 44. Oh, we need to close this bracket. And also, there's a double quotes. In the post. Save the file. I hope is everything is all right. I'm reloading the browser and here we got a new output after adding the PHP code. Now I'm selecting the date, so February 7, 2019, submit and here we got a message no records found. The reason we don't have any record on the selected date which we have chosen. Let's select let's search the ben record the date is 2018-0204 copy that one and paste here submit see here we got a ben record let's check the another record this time we'll kevin record the join date is 2019 february 1st so february 1st 2019 and here we got the Kevin record. That's it.